Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at the CADAS Edge 2 Basic. Now, they do two versions, uh, the Basic version and the Pro version. This one is the Basic version, as you can see here. This is probably the most powerful uh, single board computer uh, that you can get on the market. Here's the main specification. It's got the Rockchip RK3588S, 8-core ARM processor on here. We also have the base model here, which is your basic model, 8GB, 64-bit, 2112 megahertz LPDDR4 RAM. And there is a pro version, which is 16 gigabytes of RAM, which I'd advise you to go for. The GPU is a one gigahertz ARM Mali G610 MP4. The storage on this one is a 32 gigabytes of eMMC internal storage. The pro version has 64 gigabytes of eMMC storage. Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. The operating systems that are available through the UWEL feature is android 12 and ubuntu you got ubuntu and ubuntu server on here which you can install which we'll show you in this video a little bit later on but before we continue let's have a word from today's sponsor if you're looking for a cheap windows 10 pro or cheap windows 11 pro oem key click on this one and then you can uh, see we'll bit the buy now page hit the buy now button Put in my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order to get a juicy discount. Once you click apply, it will be reduced down to $16.41. Submit your order and then activate your version of Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro. So let's get everything out of the box. There's a very tiny box as you can see here. We do have our Bluetooth and our Wi-Fi antennas in here, which you just clip onto the board. No case in this one. Uh, this one comes with just a board on its own because it's the basic model. Uh, but if you do want to get the one with the case, uh, I would definitely go for that one. Uh, this one just has the board here, as you can see. You've got that rock chip on there, which is making this super fast and super powerful. Uh, again, it's the same size as a Raspberry Pi 4, around about the same sort of size. And then on the uh, inputs here, let's take a look at those and we can see what we've got here. So we've got two uh, usb ports one usb 3.1 and one usb 2.0 and then we have a type c connectors on here one with power delivery only and also one with pd and dp and uh, there's two of those on there and we have a hdmi input you got your camera uh, connectors on there as well and on this side you'll see we do have some buttons on here which is your power reset and your function buttons i'll quickly show you those there on the side that's them there so you can reset this very simple as well and then reinstall another operating system on here very quickly if you wanted to. This is how you can use the UWEL to install your operating system. You can go through here and check out some of the features. There's plenty of them in here. And the beauty of this is you don't need to create any bootable USB uh, flash drive or micro SD cards. You can just install it from here. What you need to do is go in here. You can see the uh, status for the internet is working and you get a selection of uh, Android and Ubuntu. They will probably add more to this at a later date. And again, they're working on this as well because it's a very new product. So they're working on this all the time. Just click on the install and the selection of which one you want to download and install. And I'm going to download this version here first, and we'll take a look at Ubuntu. And uh, once we get downloading and getting this installed on the system, I'll show you also Android as well. So there we go, we get to the install button, just click install and it will go ahead and install this. It doesn't take too long. And if you've got any updates for the actual uh, Edge 2, make sure you install the updates, firmware updates for these because it's important because they're obviously releasing these updates to fix a lot of bugs and things that uh, happen with uh, very new releases. So let's boot up to Ubuntu here and take a look at what you can do with it. Now, Ubuntu is a very powerful operating system. And again, it's free to use. Now, the good thing about these little single board computers is that you can put Linux on here and practice and use Linux and understand how it works before you make the big plunge to install it on your main system. So it's a great testing uh, bit of kit, uh, the actual CADAS uh, Edge 2. It can also do a lot of other good things too, like a little bit of light gaming. And you can also do just general computer work on here as well. If you want to use GIMP, you can do. It works perfectly fine on here loads up super fast and if you're looking for a very powerful mini pc then something like this will do you fine and it's very cheap and affordable so let's take a look here at what we get here there's plenty of options available to use and install and all this is free software so you can use it 
you've got an office suite on here and we've also got a bunch of other stuff on here i'm not going to go too deep into uh, the programs and stuff inside the actual operating system if you want to learn about that you can install it yourself but what i want to do is just show you basically how you can get your apps and download them and install them onto ubuntu so you can go to the package manager here and just download your apps from there if you wanted to or you can open up the ones that are already installed like LibreOffice here. You can see how fast that opens up, super fast. And this is only the basic model. They do a pro version of this, which is going to be super fast. So here up the top, you've got your applications here. You can uh, just take a look at the applications. But let's go ahead and get GIMP installed on here so we can open GIMP up and see how fast it opens up and installs. Very simple. You can go to the Cinematic uh, Package Manager here and open this one up and then you'll be able to download all your applications through here and uh, you just basically check mark mark for installation and then basically click on uh, install and it will install these all for you so apply these and it will go off and get these for you and install them onto the actual system here you can either set it to download package files only if you want to and then you can click apply and it will go ahead and get those downloaded and installed on the system very quick and easy to install applications on Ubuntu and uh, we'll just let that go and once this is done we'll open this up and you'll see how fast that is it's very quick and easy so there's no going on onto the web browser and downloading stuff you can do it all through the package manager here so let's just uh either you can set this to automatically close if you wish so you go ahead and get to GIMP now and we'll open this up so I'm going to go up to the applications let's drop this down here and go up to applications here and we'll go to graphics you should see GIMP there installed there, and we'll quickly open this up. Look at how fast that's opening up there on this little mini PC. Super fast. And uh, there you go. GIMP's open, and you can go ahead and use this. No lag or jerkiness there. And you can play all your movies on here as well and play some gaming, like retro games and stuff like that as well, on this little system. Let's go ahead and reset this and get uh, Android installed on here, and we'll have a little test with Android as well. Now, a good thing about this is it's Android 12, and that means you're going to get the uh, Google Play Store, and you'll be able to download all your applications and programs and uh, games and things like that through the Play Store uh, without sideloading them. You can sideload them as well if you want you to, but there's no need to do that with this uh, particular type of install. So I'll get this downloaded, and I'll get it installed on here and boot up. There we go. We're booting up to Android 12, and it should load up pretty quickly. And once we're there, I'll show you uh, some uh, footage of some video and we can also do a bit of uh, retro gaming. And that is going to be it for this one. I'm just going to quickly have a quick look at this, a quick overview. I may be getting a case for this and uh, maybe uh, really having another visit on this at a later date because I don't have the case. I only have the board itself. They only sent me the board for review. So it would have been nice to have the case. And there you go. We've got the Google Play Store already pre-installed on here. So no messing around. And you could just sign in and away you go and download all of your favorite apps and games and stuff like that. Here's your settings inside here. You've got your settings as you would normally have on Android. And you can go down. Let's go to the about bit here. You can change wallpapers and all that sort of stuff. Um, set up your camera and Wi-Fi. I'm on Ethernet at the moment but you can set up Wi-Fi on here as well if you've got your Wi-Fi installed. Now, I'm not sure what's going on here. I didn't get the 60 FPS that I thought I would get. Maybe I need to tweak the settings a little bit, uh, but it doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty good, very smooth, no jerkiness here. And this is the 8 gigabyte uh, version with 32 gigabytes of storage on this model. And again, there's another one here for you running pretty smooth as well. Only getting 48 fps i thought we'd be getting 60 here um maybe the pro version will give us that i don't know i'll need to check the settings a little bit but playback for video is pretty good too as you can see no jerkiness or no stuttering very smooth so it'd be great for playing all your movies and stuff like that if you want to set it up so whatever you want this for i'll leave the link in the video description if you're interested this can pretty much do everything a raspberry pi can do and uh, you can buy yourself some nice cool cases and uh, make it look pretty nice and set up some projects for yourself. There's plenty of them out there to do. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. Appreciate the support, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.